I'm not sure what that means. So good morning, everyone. It's November, week 11, close to the end, 10 days from the end. So that's uh, exciting. Uh, we're almost done the journey with batch six, or at least the training part of the journey, and then the next start of the journey, the getting a great job starts. So uh, let's go around the room and just hear how people are doing. Um, I'm curious about this challenge, how the group work is going. This is another one of our industry source challenges, which is always exciting. So happy, looking forward to hearing more about how that's going. So uh, let's go group by group. Yeah, 10 Academy team. Uh, that's true. Uh, so let's go with announcements, please. All right, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, uh, my announcement, as I've already said in the channel uh, on, on Slack, uh, I'll be requesting pictures from you, like your passport picture. So I'll be reaching to everyone's inbox on Slack to submit your picture. I don't want to send a link because I've been sending a lot of links and something like that. So I'll be reaching out to you guys. So if you have like your picture, just send it to me on Slack in my inbox, then I will upload them where it's needed. Thank you. Do you want to, <clears throat> thanks everybody. Do you want to give a quick, uh just two lines on what you're going to use it for. Are you forging passports or what are you doing? Uh, no, sure. I, I think I've, I've, I've said this on, on, on Slack. We're going to use these pictures for slideshow because we need to prepare a good graduation and a very memorable one. So we're going to use this for graduation ceremony. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so let's go group by group. Uh, Nardos has her hand up as well. So Nardos, over to you. Okay, um, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, so my announcements is concerning the AWS Innocence. And we have noticed that our the AWS cost is skyrocketing and it's costing a lot more. So we're going to be limiting the, t the usage time and it's going to, from now on, starting from today, it's going to be stopped at 22 UTC and it's going to be started the next day, uh, 5 UTC. And please take note note of that when you are working. Um, thank you. Uh, it's going to be, Johannes, if that the question is for me, it's going to be time limited. Uh, at, it's going to be stopped at 22 UTC. Okay. If you guys have any question, uh, let's ask on Slack. Uh, thank you. Back to you, Aaron. Yeah, no, thanks both for those announcements. Um, okay, so Johannes and Michael, these are not really good questions. I, what what does what mean? These sort of one word questions are not uh, useful questions. So what, Michael, why don't you unmute and what, I don't understand your question. And Johannes, the same thing. What's, what are you trying to ask? Yeah, uh, I want to ask here uh, that I didn't understand the question, so I, I need to re replay here. That is short question. You didn't understand the question, or you didn't understand what yeah. Nardo said. Yeah, yeah. Now I understand here. Okay. And Michael, what's your question? Michael, do you have a question? Michael? Uh, hello, hello. I'm, so, I'm really sorry. Like, my connection had dropped out, like, the moment uh, Nardo started announcing, and I just rejoined. Yeah. The announcement was that uh, due to costs, what we're saying is that we will have um, the instances are going to be shut down between 22 UTC and 5 a.m. UTC. So we're paying for AWS, it's expensive. We're paying commercial rates because that's just where we are. Um, and so to keep costs at a reasonable uh, number, the instances will not be available between 22 UTC and 5 UTC. 22, uh, so evening 10 p.m. UTC and 5 a.m. UTC. So you should plan your work around that. Uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump into the groups. Um, but just just a point on that. So I appreciate Nanel unmuted and just sort of asked clearly, 
um, when you get into the world of work, if you don't understand something, you have to ask a good question. I think the sort of, you know, what or I don't understand, or it's not a, you guys are now getting ready to be professionals. When you join a team, there will always be things which are unplanned or which are new. And don't behave like a, don't behave like a student. Don't behave like, you know, tell me everything that I need to do. Understand what uh, your colleagues are trying to tell you, your manager is trying to tell you. Meet them where they are and say, look, I had, I, just like Nadal did, I, there was a reason I didn't understand. Could you please repeat? Or, okay, I heard what you're saying. Does it apply in instance A, B, or C? Or what you're saying, I understand your point, but that's going to cause difficulty X, Y, Z. Is there any flexibility? So let's not, you know, we're professionals or we're getting ready to be professionals and we need to start behaving like that uh, in every approach that we take. Um, these, please, no, no more one word questions. And this is these sort of, you know, what or that sort of question drives me a little bit crazy because it's not a real question. Um, it's just sort of a, I mean, how does one respond to that? I don't know. Okay. Um, let's go into the groups. We're going to go start with, uh, who's here from the different groups. Let's go with Johannes Gutema, group four. How's your group doing? Okay, thank you for the uh, opportunity. Uh, we already uh, divided our tasks uh, in different uh, for different individuals, and uh, we are working on the the challenges given for us individually. Uh, and uh, we will discuss if we face broker in any time on Slack uh, and uh, even on Gmail. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we are going. Uh, well, Can you give, uh, could you give me could and I see Burhanu Gibisa is also here as the team lead. So, can you give me a detailed update? How are things going? What progress did you make yesterday? Are you on track? So, I'm happy if you're discussing on Slack. That's sort of the how. But what's your progress? Where do you stand? Yeah, uh, uh, almost uh, we are going uh, good, and uh, we submitted uh, our uh, uh, the yesterday and uh, on time. Uh, both the uh, report as well as the the GitHub, uh, and uh, I think we are going uh, on the track. And uh, if we face challenge, we will discuss in it on uh, Slack uh, as well as we ask the Twitter. Uh, I think we are going uh, good. But okay, so it's still not a very detailed response. Are you on track to deliver task two and three? Uh, I think so. We uh, deliver task. Uh, uh, in three, uh, uh, very well. I, I think we already submitted. No, but task two and three. So the, and this is you have to build your machine learning yeah. model. Yeah, on task two and three, we are working on it, and uh, I think the interim is not asked to require to submit the whole uh, task two and there. Uh, no, I understand, but it's Thursday, so you have uh, three days left. So, so can you give me a? Can you let's let's get into specifics. I think. It's often times where we talk in generalities. So, Johannes, to be honest, your update doesn't tell me anything. It tells me that you're collaborating, but I don't know if you're actually making progress with the technical work. Uh, so, 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 again, what, what, as, when, you get, when you get into the world of work, if you gave me this update as a member of the team, I have no idea, are you actually making progress on the taxi? Okay. So where do you stand? Where's where's the the setup of your model? Um, how are you doing? How are you doing with the uh, extracting components? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, my task was uh, feature extraction, uh, especially on the text uh, from the screen and the uh, other emotion. Uh, the almost the way my task is uh, feature extraction, and uh, we divided it on the. Another group also work on the segment uh, image segmentation and uh, working on the feature extraction. Okay, but so what? What about the entire team? Where's the Where's your team? Where do they stand? We, we, Bur, Bur, we so all, let's, let's go to Burhanu as the team lead. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Burhanu. Hi. Uh, I think uh, for the interim and for the previous day. We was uh, divided in the uh, selected the task on the GitHub issue, uh, mainly focus on the 
feature extraction from the image in the uh, object segmentation. Uh, Margaret and uh, Naho and the Kabatu is work on the object segmentation. Uh, and uh, Johannes Vesaha, uh, Margaret and uh, me also work on the feature extraction. And uh, from the feature extraction, there are different features there. So I was on the working with the color extraction and uh, on the combination of the feature. Fusaha and uh, Johannes also work on the feature extraction. Uh, Honestly, we have uh, not complete the feature extraction still. Uh, I think uh, yesterday there is uh, update. There was an update on the uh, uh, made our progress. Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. Hello. So, sorry, I was on my, my, my phone. There is some mistake made. Uh, so, uh, and also uh, for na for uh, uh, final, we have a plan to build the model and also to finish the feature extraction in the, uh, to combine that feature. And we uh, plan to build and we will discuss the uh, left tasks. And also we was uh, communicate on the uh, Slack to install the library that on the remote. Uh, and we will fix it. I think we are on the good progress, but there is uh, some progress is there. That's I think uh, that's uh, all my group updates. Thank are you. you on track to meet your deadline? Yeah, we are trying. We are trying to meet. Uh, we are submitting the tasks on the time because uh, this is uh, it's a challenging task. And uh, mm -hmm. I think there is a problem, there is a lot of problem there. And uh, the idea also is uh, broad. So we try to submit our task on, the, on time. Right, but I asked you a different question. Are you on track to finish on Saturday? So you're telling me about what happened in the past. I'm asking you to predict the future. Are you gonna, so what are you gonna, are you going to submit what you want to submit on Saturday? yeah yeah that's our plan because no, if we have that's that's everyone's plan but you have to be it's thursday you should know you're halfway through you're more than halfway through are you going to make that goal are you going to reach your goal i don't know how to answer this but we are planned so if we have planned to submit our task on the time uh, if the project is not uh, finished on time but we try what we done if the project may be uh, done 70 or 80 percent we try to submit that okay i mean it, it may be useful for if there's any help that's needed on how to come up with a, a good plan or to decide it's usually that uh 80 percent of the result comes in 20 percent of the work and then the rest of it takes, you know, the improvement or the beautification or the the fine details come afterwards. So what I would expect is that you have a clear plan, you're on track to get the first 80%, and then the rest of it you can add on afterwards. But uh, for group four, I don't, I still haven't heard that, you know, what I would expect is to say, look, here's the minimum, what they call the MVP, the minimum viable product. Yes, we're on track for that. These are the steps that we're taking, and this is why we're confident that we're going to reach there. And then when we have time, we're going to add ABC. So my recommendation to your group, and if you need help, you can reach out. My recommendation would be to develop a plan to get this minimum viable working thing, which is usually 80% of the value. Um, make sure that you're on track to get that done on time. Everything else after that is a bonus. Okay, thank you. Yes, we'll communicate to you. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm not being so nice to people today, so no one's going to want to talk. Um, but that's fine. So who's next? Group. Uh, let's go to group five. So we have Emmanuel Zedu as the lead and Andanet as the backup. Um, <clears throat> Is Emmanuel Zedu here? No. Is Andanet here? No. Not that I can see. Fine. Let's go to someone else. Let's go to group uh, three, Henok. 
and empty none. Are they here? Henok is not here. Empty none is not here. Okay. Uh, let's go to group two. Uh, Jane Rose and Aku Bazki. Jane Rose is here. She was here before I was here. Hi, Jane Rose. Hi, good morning. You managed the power outage in Kenya yesterday? Yeah, yeah that was a bad downer. Yeah. Uh, what happened? How come the whole evening. country seemed to be down? Um, I think they oh. were performing maintenance somewhere. And okay. usually they have scheduled shutdowns. Okay. Okay, great. How are you? How's the group doing? Um, so yesterday I was mostly finishing up on my report, so I didn't have a meeting with them. But today we are going to have a meeting to continue the task. We are left with modeling. I saw the group had written code about extracting features such as faces, objects. Um, we think I see logos and text and colors here. Yeah. So the group work so far has been, uh, the group members have been very active. And um, so yeah, today we just plan on how to get these features in a kind of output that our model can understand and work on. Okay, so you're the you're the lead of the group. So what's my same same question to you? Are you on track to deliver something which works by Saturday? Um, yeah, I think we are on track. After the tutorials today, I think we're going to be told about um, deep, using machine learning. But I think yes, we are on track. You don't sound very sure. Um, mostly it's because, well, yeah, I don't know, but it's, I'm very, I'm planning on uh, submitting the full report, full work. Okay, so Jane Rose, I think you have to get, as a group lead, you have to make sure that there's a way for you to stay on top of what's happening. Um, and as I said to the other groups as well, you have to submit, look, this is a work simulation. We're going to be, this is real company data and they're looking forward to getting a real result. It's a good opportunity. And even if this is training, it's still an opportunity to practice working on a real life project. Everyone came here um, wanting to do something uh, useful and the ability for you guys to demonstrate that you got this done and you're able to showcase this to uh, on your portfolio will make a big difference. It'll be very helpful to you guys getting a real world job. So I I know it's the end and I know it's tired. People are tired, but you have to. I'm a little bit surprised that there's you know I don't there's not a confident answer that yes we're on time. Um, so I yeah I think by well, look, we need we need that sort of answer. If you need uh, if you need any support, you can let me know how we can be helpful. But I'm not hearing, you know, I'm I'm hearing more that look, we're going to show up and we're going to submit something. Um, and what I'm also hearing, which is a little bit concerning, is that submitting the report has sounds like it's become a little bit more important than delivering the result. So the reports are fine, the grades are fine, leaderboards are fine, but they don't they're not as important as the actual learning and the actual coding. So let's not confuse the two things, please. Okay, <clears throat> we have group one, <clears throat> uh, Yishak, Tadele, and Josias. Is Yishak here? Don't see him, Josias is here twice. Yishak just joined. Okay, Yishak, can you give us an update on your group? Sorry, I just joined. Can you repeat the answer to the question? Yeah, I'd like an update on how your group is doing and towards meeting your goals, the uh, submission by the end of the week. Okay, so uh, we, are, uh, fully, we are working on the tasks. We have divided the given uh, tasks, like 
today we are doing the on the extraction part, the acid extraction part. So uh, I'm like, uh, pretty optimistic about uh, the deadlines that we can meet them. So uh, I'm like we are trying our best to uh, deliver minimum viable products. So uh, that's our update. Uh, what would you like to know? Yeah, I would like to go from optimistic to plan. I mean, optimism is fine, but that's not a plan, yeah. right? So you're the okay. you're the group lead, and so if I was in your position on Thursday, I would want to know that I have basically uh, 80 hours of work, or maybe 200 hours of work to be done. I have five team members, and I know that I have that's with this amount of time left and the uh, workforce I have at hand, this is how we're going to achieve our goals. So I don't, I'd like to go from optimism to a plan. Okay. Okay. So uh, our plan is uh, like uh, from the challenge document, we are today we are working on uh, extracting the features like we have uh, extracted some of the features and uh, we are still working on that one our plan is to finish extracting the features today and uh, starting from tomorrow we are going to work on the model selection and model development so um, uh, probably today and tomorrow <coughs> we'll be uh, done with the selection of the model maybe uh, to decide on uh, whether to use the transfer learning or whether to uh, develop our own model using the uh, TensorFlow or the given uh, tutorial. So uh, then at the next day, uh, we are planning to uh, work on the evaluation, model evaluation and uh, pipeline development. So to orchestrate all the tasks, we are going to work on the uh, Saturday. So that's our plan. So why, just for interest, I mean, I'm not a the technical person here, but why are why is everyone working on feature extraction and then everyone then everyone switches to model development? Why why are you not actually, setting up the model already? Yeah, actually, uh, everyone is not working on the feature extraction. Uh, there are tasks that uh, require a collaborative uh, interaction uh, interaction between the groups. So. Uh, like to extract the logos, to extract the uh, CTA and uh, all uh, required features, it needs to work in a collaborative manner uh, since they are somehow related. So uh, there are people who work on that part as an additional person, as a support, and uh, their main task is to work on uh, identifying the model we'll be using to predict the KPI. So. Uh, there's a two kind of uh, task division, like some of the people are majorly working on the feature extraction and other people are majorly working on uh, deciding which models to use for the KPI prediction and uh, also uh, providing support for uh, feature extracting group. So that's, that's it. Okay, so how do we get you to a point where you could answer this question, what's your plan, that it's not optimism, but this is this is what we're doing, this is who's doing what. How do we make that, how do we, how do we make that change? Okay, uh, in the challenge, in our uh, group document, we have uh, created a group document and uh, there is a table, uh, it can be uh, found in our uh, custom group channel so uh, it, it is stated in there that uh, what everyone is doing like uh, currently i'm doing on uh, identifying emotion from the given images that Nile is doing uh, on the cta button like uh, identifying the CTA, the position of the cta button in the given image and uh, uh, like extracting that feature so uh, you can see from the document that what everyone is doing is listed in there in a plan if, uh, in a plan manner. So uh, <clears throat> I can mention what everyone is doing is going to be doing in, on today if we have time. Uh, do you want that or no? I don't want that actually. I mean that's fine, but I think what I want more. I, what I hear from all the groups is we're starting to confuse a plan with work. So the work is. You, that you have a sense of how difficult, how easy something is, where are the risks. The fact that it's written down is not, it doesn't mean that the work is getting done. But, you know, if you write it down, what happens if person A is not available or they're not delivering or there's a technical challenge? So the document is not interesting. 
but I want the result, or you guys should want to deliver the result. Okay. And so, yeah, so if I was in so your position, what I would do is more is start thinking about what's essential, what's our critical path, who's working on that, and how are we sure that by Saturday at uh, 8 p.m. UTC, how are we sure that we're going to be delivering our result? I don't, the document doesn't matter. The plan doesn't matter. I mean, what I'm hearing is that maybe we, we missed something and we started getting the group too worried and too focused on documentation. And documentation is super important, but it's not the work. You know, if you have a beautiful plan with code that doesn't work, your client is going to be disappointed. Your manager is going to be disappointed. Okay. So uh, in order to cope with the uh, problem of uh, somebody not doing their task uh, correctly, uh, we have designed the plan to be uh, say that people can work in a collaborative manner on a single task. Uh, if I answer, answer your question correctly. So uh, we're trying our best to deliver the, uh, the requirement. Uh, so we're, we're doing things early on. And uh, as, as I've said earlier, we are just, uh, we are not done with the feature extraction, but we are also planning on how do we handle the model training, model uh, evaluation. So uh, like, the plan is not a fixed thing. It might change, but we are doing our best to meet the requirements. Yeah. No, and I have no doubt that you're putting a lot of work into it. I think in MT9, I'll come to you in a moment. I think my my advice to you is don't, when you're working, our training is almost over. When you're working, don't rely on the fact that you're communicating or you've written down a plan as, a res, as evidence that work is being done. So the best evidence is to say, look, we're already, we have to reach our goal and we're halfway through and we're already 80% of the way there. The team is available. Um, we're ahead of we're ahead of our plan in, in key areas A, B, and C. And we're now fin focused on finishing up these other important areas one, two, three. So this, what I'm hearing in terms of updates um, is much more, I have a plan, I'm communicating with people, we're using a document, but that's not an update on your progress. That's an update on the tools that you're using. So to use another analogy, that would be like if you if you hire someone to build your house and the build, you say, you know, am I going to be able to move in at Christmas time? And the builder says, you know, we have weekly meetings and I have a good hammer and I have a good relationship with the guy at the building store. I mean, you'd be like, what's with my house? You know, have you, is the kitchen there? Is there a bathroom? I don't care if you're meeting with the building guy. Like, where's my house? Okay. So that, that, that's a little bit what I'm hearing when you're, or if you go to a restaurant and your food is late, you know, nobody cares if, you know, the person has a good hygiene protocol written down, you're like, where's my food? So I, I want us to give updates, which are focused on what progress are we making? How far are we away from the goal? And also talking about this one is important. This one is nice to have, and this is really baseline essential. If we don't get A, B or C done, then we're in trouble. So let's go to Empty Nan and then to Nanael Melissa. Yes, sorry, I have a, I have a question. What what if uh, we are not on track to finish? Good, excellent. Then you should say that, and you should say we're not on track. Um, even more than uh, we're not on track is to say these are the areas that we need help in. Um, and if you're working on a client project or if you're working at work, then it's very normal not to be on track. And then your update should be, this is where we are. This is why we're not on track. And here are two options. And usually what, what it means is that you're asking your colleagues or your manager to help you prioritize. So if somebody came to me and says, look, I'm not, you asked me to do 12 things, um, I'm not going to get all 12 done. Then I would like a discussion around which of the 12 are most important, because there's a good chance that not all of them are equally important. So then it becomes a question of prioritization. And this is where good, um, this is when you become a good uh, team player or a good employee, when you can deliver, and I'll say it again, it's usually 
the first 80% of the result takes 20% of the effort. So you don't need to deliver everything, but everyone here should be focused on delivering something which at least uh, works. So I don't know if that answers your question. If you need help, Emtinan, on figuring out what what should your group be focusing on, then I don't think we've heard from your group yet. So we can uh, we can talk about that. So let's get your group update. So we have in your group uh, the leader is Henok Desalen. Is he here? Uh, da, 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 da. No. So then, why don't you go ahead? Yeah, so um, I'm not sure if, <laughs> uh, um, uh, I'm not, uh, okay, sorry. I was not planning to, to give an update, so I don't know. Um, uh, I would say that we were uh, at the step of uh, feature extracting, so we have divided that work. Um, I'm not sure if uh, we are not finished yet with that, um, but uh, yeah, this is where we are at. Uh, we haven't started uh, working on the, uh, we have put one person on working on the extracting the data from web, web tracking, but we are not putting um, more of, of our effort on that because, I mean, this is an additional thing that we can do. We are working with the provided data set for the time being. We haven't put anyone or haven't started working on the machine learning uh, part because we need the data from feature extracting before we start on that. So, why do you? Why can't you do them in parallel? Because we need the, as the input is from the feature extracting. We cannot really start on that before com completing at least part of this task. As, uh, as soon as we have part of the. And I'm, I'm not sure. I think uh, we already have part of this uh, picture, picture extracted already. Um, so we can start on that soon. Okay, but it's uh, so when you had a plan at the end of at the start of this week, when were your when was at least some sort of feature extraction supposed to have been done? At least something enough so that you're able to get started. Are you behind schedule or was it just not scheduled? We, we actually, do, we did, I don't think uh, we had uh, uh, a fixed schedule for doing that. Everything was overwhelming in the beginning because I don't think we all understood what we are supposed to do. At least for, as far as I, I, as far as I know, um, my, uh, my other teammates, my, maybe had uh, some, some plan in head, but it was, it, it, they, we haven't communicated that. So uh, I don't know, we, we didn't have a schedule beforehand. Okay, so that that's uh, that's kind of a major problem, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I would agree. Yes. Okay. Um, are you are you guys going to deliver anything by the end of this by Saturday? Yes, uh, I'm confident that we are uh, because we are already um, we already have done. Uh, I mean, if we had like a rough schedule, we are kind on of the schedule, I would say, because we have finished, um, we are almost finishing like uh, the the first major part. And then, um, so by Saturday, uh, I'm confident we are going to have some, some results. I mean, uh, attempt uh, at answering the, the current question of what is the relevant features for, for KPIs. Okay, but then how are you going to achieve that? Confidence is good, but that it sounds to me like then you need to have the feature extraction at least partially completed by today. Um, yes. So how are you going to achieve that? Um, I think uh, we are already um, okay. So I have to I have to do um, a meeting with my Ms. What is my teammates because I don't know uh, I, I'm not I'm not updated on what the results they had and this is my problem because I haven't I just uh, this is I just started I haven't checked on the work that the team has done which is a big mistake 
of course, are coming to them to our meetings uh, on an update on the work on the group work without uh, knowing what we have done. So, but uh, because by last night uh, we were um, uh, we have done like a, uh, um, uh, a part of of this uh, of the of the task. So I think uh, <clears throat> I think we are on, on on a good. I'm guessing, but I'm I'm guessing that we are on track. But, uh, yeah. So this is I'm um, admitting that we are. Um, I have I made a mistake a bit that I didn't check on my teamwork. Um, yeah. <clears throat> my team, my teammates' work. Yeah. No, I would encourage uh, you and also everyone else here. So let's. Uh, Optimism is good, but it's it's probably uh, it's maybe a necessary but not sufficient condition. So, I it you know maybe we lost something along the way that we've it's become if these sessions have become much more uh, cheerleading sessions. That's you know there's a role for that, but I think the point was more to check in and say, how are we doing? Are we on track? Um, yeah. So let's go to Natnail Malese and then to uh, Mohammed. I would say, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mohammed is, is from my group and probably ah. have a better update okay. than me. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's go to Mohammed, then to Natnail Malese. Yes. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Yeah. Very well. Yes. Uh, so um, uh, adding to what uh, MTNN said, uh, we are uh, kind of behind, but uh, we will. Uh, be delivering uh, something by Saturday. To give you a detailed update, uh, so uh, we have one assigned person uh, in the extraction and the scrubbing, and he's doing very well. We, we already had uh, uh, a starting code uh, in the uh, extraction part. And uh, for the matter of uh, uh, finishing uh, the feature extraction, we assigned all the group we assign every person in the group with two uh, features to, ex to extract it. And that was done yesterday. Uh, we have uh, one issue with uh, uh, one of our team was uh, having some terrible uh, harm, some uh, issues, and he wasn't uh, he wasn't able to be communicate with us uh, till yesterday. So uh, he and he also uh, had no uh, haven't uh, uh, had his uh, instance working. So uh, I think by today we will finish all the feature extraction. Um, we are facing some uh, understanding. We had faced some understanding in the beginning, but we will make sure that everyone in the group has uh, the basic understanding and we all are on the same page. And uh, there's a couple of uh, technical challenges uh, in uh, image uh, detection like CTA and uh, detecting CTA buttons and uh, logo positions. So uh, those are uh, a wild world uh, challenges, but uh, due to the data, we have uh, we will put some extra effort to extract some uh, of the features. So I think uh, the features will talk will take uh, most of our time because uh, the data is not sufficient and we need to do more on the data uh, collecting so that we could uh, perform our work uh, finally. So uh, I think by today we will finish because we have assigned four person in the feature extraction and uh, with tomorrow we'll work on uh, deep learning uh, modules. So I think we are behind but we could catch up are you confident that so I'm so now we're getting into details, which is good. So you're you're you've appointed or assigned four people to get to the feature extraction. Are they clear on what what is success, what level of uh, result they need to deliver? Yes, uh, actually we have uh, eight uh, eight uh, features to extract. Uh, from uh, two to four of them are uh, already done. With this extracted uh, with the started code uh, that Yabi shared uh, with us yesterday, and we have left with four. Uh, the four we are we we are left with have some uh, technical challenges. So uh, I think by today we will have uh, all all of the all of the features done. So we have eight features. Everyone is assigned with two features. 
Okay, I would just encourage, I would encourage you to make sure that they actually, it's clear to everyone what has to be delivered because you only have, you don't want to lose the day and you have an insufficient number of features that are delivered. So I would encourage you to make sure that it's clear what are you actually defining as success? Okay, I will make sure to do that. Okay, let's go to Nanel Melissa. Uh, okay, like I know my group, uh, my group leader is like already have mentioned our stuff, but let me quantify it. Uh, uh, let me quantify it with numbers. So from the task one, from which is uh, future extraction, we have about we extracted about fifty five percent of it, and we are the remaining forty five percent. We will complete it by the end of the day, and along with that, uh, the other members will uh, actually go on and choose an appropriate model for KPI prediction given our given the extracted features. So we all are already on the same page on the extraction features, what extra, what features has, has to be extracted, which features are the most uh, relevant one from all those, from the actual features. And based on that, uh, the members assigned to the model, to choose the model, will somehow try to pick uh, a proper model for us. And by the time we are done extracting the features, we will just compile and train the model and evaluate. This is uh, our plan slash progress. So how, so want... how do you know that the number is 55%? Uh, we, we, com we actually extracted five of the features among the nine, and we also added extra two features which are already extracted but just for quantifying sake i just pick five out of nine which is 55 percent okay and are you does it matter to you whether some of the features may be easier or harder or is that you're just providing a first estimate uh, we actually extracted those features but uh, it depends on the the features to be the, the extracted features on the somehow on the difficulty of how to extract them. The remaining might be somehow difficult, but we are some we are like dividing and conquering each task. So uh, I'm pretty sure we will actually extract all the features, all the nine features listed there, and we also will add an extra features. And what risks do you see once you have the features extracted and you need to build your model around it? What risks do you see in delivering on time? Uh, if uh, uh, I'm not, uh, for example, like we might face like uh, somehow uh, like labeling all the actually the extract features. Maybe the labeling part would be like, somehow a risky part. But uh, once we have done that, uh, we, we will surely like complete the modeling part. So if you were, if this was a paid, if you were working or this was a paid project, are you, you have a meeting with your client on Monday morning. To what extent are you confident that you've met the client's expectations on Monday morning? Uh, with the pace we have and with uh, with uh, our group members like dedication and hard work i'm pretty sure like we will deliver all the tasks but can you quantify that for me so you gave me a nice quantification before uh, we will complete like 95 percent of the task okay like maybe the five percent would be like uh, somehow like we might face like the issue like we we didn't see right now mm -hmm. but i'm pretty sure like we will pretty finish 95 percent of the task okay Okay, uh, group five is left, Emmanuel uh, Zedu. Hello. Hi, Emmanuel. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so up until now, uh, we first tried to uh, understand what uh, the first day, the first uh, on Monday, we uh, try to uh, brainstorm and understand what we are supposed to do and how we are supposed to do it. Uh, then uh, we uh, went to writing some uh, modular scripts that could help us uh, reuse uh, upon need, and then we went straight to uh, extraction of features. 
um, as mentioned earlier, there are uh, about eight or nine features listed there. So uh, what we agreed upon was uh, each one of us could take one and add another additional feature, uh, which uh, which could be uh, creative. Uh, we we should create one feature of our own of ourselves. Mm, that was the plan, uh, but uh, we couldn't really achieve it. Uh, up until now, we uh, only extracted uh, three of the features. Uh, the, the, the the CTA button from which we could uh, extract its position, uh, its text and background color and its size, um, the logo and uh, emotions from human faces. That is what uh, we did. Um, and uh, today we plan to uh, finish extracting the rest of the features. Um, so that is what we have been doing so far. Okay, but and so to the question I've been asking the rest of the groups, so you gave me an update on your progress today, which is detailed. Good. Um, are you on track to, and so Mohammed asked the question on the logo feature, we'll come to that. Are you on track to meet your goal for Saturday? What about uh, your, what about the model building? Yes, I believe so. I, I think the, the hard task is the future extraction. If we extract the proper and appropriate uh, features correctly, uh, model training, I don't think it's a hard task. And you said that people that you uh, people chose one feature and you assigned them another one. Are you sure that people are going to deliver? So maybe I missed it. Are people? Do you have any results or any? Have you extracted a single feature yet? Yes, we managed to extract some uh, three features. Which ones? Uh, the logo, the uh, emotions from human faces, and uh, 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 the positions of the CTA buttons. Okay, and which other ones are essential for you to start building the model? Uh, we haven't set uh, priorities, but uh, uh, in my opinion, I think the time-related ones are also uh, uh, essential. And uh, my group member, Nathanael, uh, he's saying he, we also extract the text. Yes, we, 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 take, we extract the text too, text from images. So that makes four uh, of the features have been extracted. So same question to you. You're presenting to your client on Monday, and there you have to submit your code on Saturday. With these four features and the plan that you have, what's your confidence in meeting the expectation? Mm, I can't numerify it, but uh, I believe uh, if we proceed with the same pace, uh, I think we have three days, and it's uh, if we consider up until Monday, we will have five days, and uh, we we can do more than expected. Okay, but I think it, it sounds to me like it's important. You're making progress, but it's you need to tighten up your organization. Who's doing what? Which one is priority? when do you start building your machine learning model? You know, if you have a bunch of smart people in a room, you'll figure it out, but there's an opportunity here to go, uh, to get more organized, to prioritize. And it sounds to me like that's what you guys should be, that's the important next step. Sure. Yeah, does that, I don't know, it doesn't sound, um, you don't seem convinced. Uh. Yeah, me personally, I'm uh, really being challenged by the connection. Uh, I, I couldn't uh, connect to the instances whenever I want. I'm having yeah. problems with that. I see. That's why I'm not being so sure. So then how are you going to address that? If you're the group leader and you're not able to connect properly, so what's your plan? Are you working with your the second group lead or the deputy? Uh, and yeah. Annette? It's only with me. The problem is persisting with only me. I have uh, asked the uh, EDDA for a solution. Uh, the other group members are uh, uh, up on and up and working. I've been communicating. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Mohammed asks, how did you do the logo feature? 
Uh, Mohammed, maybe you can ask in the Slack group um, because I think we're out of time. I don't know if there's a hot seat today. I'm just going to check quickly. Yeah, uh, Mohammed, you can uh, reach up to Nathanael. He was working with that. Is the logo extract, logo in text. Yeah. Um, okay, so I don't see a hot seat today, so that's fine. Um, okay, so we haven't we've heard from all the different groups, and I think uh, there's a there's a trend that I'm seeing in the in how groups are operating. So help me understand why groups have moved into reactive mode as opposed to proactive mode. That's the sense that I have. People are being reactive where they're going to manage uh, they're going to manage to reach their goal by late night effort. Maybe a handful of people are going to pull superhuman efforts and then somehow we'll manage and then we just go into the next week. That's that's what I'm hearing. Um, is that an does anyone disagree with that? Put your hand up if you disagree with that. Disagree with what exactly? I didn't get it. Alan. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, what I'm, what I'm, the feeling I have is that people are, we've, we've gone from proactive to reactive. So proactive is we have a plan, we have a schedule, we have a well-defined um, set of who has to do what by when. And that gets updated every day. The team communicates some, a lot of work is done. And every day we work towards our goal of Saturday and our interim goal of Wednesday. And um, we, we do that to maximize the chances of reaching our target. So for example, we're prioritizing which features do we build. For example, we share knowledge on um, computer vision tasks. For example, if there's a harder feature extraction task, then we put maybe more people on it or our best people on it, or we're clear at what, after how many features do we stop and start building our model and then sort of this iteration between extracting new features, updating the model. That to me is proactive. But what I heard today was much more, um, we're gonna figure it out, so don't worry about it. Or we're gonna figure it out, we don't have a clear plan, or I didn't check with my colleagues, I didn't check with my group members, but one way or another, we're gonna figure that out. So that to me means when I hear that, it seems like we get out of planning mode and we get into superhero mode. And superhero mode is, I believe that I'm working with such brilliant people that they're gonna figure it out. I don't need a, I don't need a great plan. Um, so I'm trying to see, does anyone disagree with that? Yeah, go ahead. To say that. Yeah, basically, I think I kind of disagree with that because I don't think everybody thinks like that, and I'm not even talking about myself personally. But, but are we behaving my... like that? It's a different thing to think like that. Are we behaving like that? Yeah. Okay, that's another question now, isn't it? But to be really honest, I think there are two main reasons for this week's. Uh, for what you just saw this week the first one is the task is actually really uh good by good i mean it's really challenging so i don't expect if i'm um, i don't expect really for everybody to be on the same page at every time and to really get to you know to really do what they plan to do i'm talking including myself then the, the second thing is the group work part, right? So the things you mentioned earlier, like the everything considered is really good and it really helps if each and every body is on the same page and doing the, being cooperative and stuff. As I said, in this group kind of things, and this is why I really disagree with what you said previously. Not everybody uh, acts like going to find this superhuman person and not everybody also acts like working together, right? So this group thing also has a benefit and also a disadvantage. So maybe the two things are something that really uh, helped 
or made this whole uh, feeling occur, if that makes sense. If I just okay, uh, Mohammed, and then one going. Yes, yes. Uh, I will add to Faseha. Uh, I will add to Faseha answer, and I will say that uh, the situation is very complicated because. Um, in every team, you have a couple of people who are talented and who have the experience and uh, not the experience, the knowledge uh, that's suitable for the, the this week project. And some people like me, um, who have who have been introduced to this to those technology for the first uh, week of their life. So uh, the those people, um, th we need some collaboration between those people so that we could come with uh, a well-defined plan. But there are some blockers, uh, I think. Uh, most of uh, the the fellows or uh, the train, uh, Ten Academy uh, trainees um, live in third world com uh, c countries that face electricity and uh, internet issues. So uh, for me and uh, for some of my team, uh, we had some uh, internet and electricity issues that block us from communicating very well so uh if that happened we could not have uh, a well-defined plan so that the the rest of the week uh, we will be uh, switching to uh to maybe uh the the proactive mood i think or the active I, I don't get that but you understand me right so I understand you, but I'm I'm a little bit surprised. I'm, uh, what do I say? Uh, we're sort of we're on week eleven, and if we haven't solved this issue, um, and Yevabel's just joined in. So Yevabel, we're talking about. I just want to bring him quickly up to speed. We're talking about this week's project, and there seems to be. And the question I asked the group is: It seems to be like we're we're more reactive. Uh, most of the groups uh, presented sort of a it sounded to me more like a hope and dream sort of plan. We're going to reach the goal, but we don't know exactly how. Um, there weren't many specific updates on where we stand with feature extraction, um, when the modeling is going to start, uh, to the question of are we going to reach the goal and be ready to present by Saturday. The answer seemed to me to be much more, yeah, we'll definitely make it, there's no doubt. But there's few groups that really had a concrete idea and a concrete plan of how they're going to reach it. Um, what and so Mohammed was just saying that one of the reasons is because we have connectivity issues um and that's fine and other people are new to the topic this week but this is not unusual and it's going to be something that you're going to face in the world of work as well now what would be expected is to find a way even if you're using asynchronous communication switch to whatsapp switch to telegram if slack is too heavy that's fine but figure out who has the most expertise in this area and don't let them do all of the work there should be other people who let's say like yourself you said you're new to this area how can you use your time most effectively so you're not just sitting around and contributing less when you're an active person who could be contributing a lot so what i what i hear is that you know you should have three days left and you should be maximizing the time for each and every person to use those three days um, and of course, there are challenges. Some people have better connectivity and some people have worse connectivity. But I would hope that if I was in your position, I would say, I have three days left to really learn something, to be able to showcase a really cool computer vision project on my profile. And I don't care about the leaderboard. I don't care about the grades. The report is a byproduct, but I want to learn how everything is being done and that hunger and that activity um, is what I was hoping to see. Now, it's it's possible that, look, it's week 11 and everyone's tired, um, so maybe that's also normal. But I want to, um, yeah. So let's hear from Wangui, and then uh, we'll see where we go. Um, I think uh, on my end, um, I think I'd concur with what Mohammed and Kisa had said before. Um, what I wanted to contribute was just an observation I'd made, uh, I think, even before when I was group leader. Um, it seems uh, like when we're assigning tasks, um, a lot of tasks seem, the tasks seem 
to be sequential and i think that it is the nature of the of the of the challenge that you work from one task to the other um i think uh usually um when working in a in a group situation it it does lead to a bit of like a bottleneck where um we're, we're not sure what uh how to make some of the tasks work in parallel so that every, um, as you said, every able-bodied person is able to contribute at the same time. Um, and uh, I, I, I do think uh, that uh, maybe the most learning could come like after <laughs> some people, um, if you've been assigned to a task, uh, they work on it and then uh, we come together for the, like an in-group discussion and like, okay, so this is how I did what I did um, and like kind of like expedite the process as opposed to learning it um, by yourself. Uh, but I, I do think that might be a bit why uh, it, it might seem like it's reactive, maybe at this point in time, um, because maybe we're working on the tasks sequentially. Okay. Um, I, I just want to make one observation and then I, you have about, I'm sure you have a couple of questions or maybe some insights. Um, Look, what I'm hearing, what I, overall my sense is that this is, uh, the approach has become a little bit like school. Let's show up and let's get the grade, let's get the mark. Some people are really trying to learn, but this is, it's this work simulation type of environment, like let's get as much done and let's deliver the task seems to be less important <clears throat> than actually, um, yeah, let's say the school type of approach where you're studying for the exam seems to be a little bit more pervasive than this work approach where you need to deliver the result. And that's that's troubling for me because it's troubling for me as a person who's invested in uh, the organization, but also me as a person who's invested in you guys learning as much as possible. Because it seems like there's a handful of people who are doing a lot of work and the rest of the people are just here for the grades. So I don't know what the rest of you are going to do when it comes time for you to go to an interview and you have a computer vision task, which is uh, well designed and it's the product of a lot of effort on your profiles, but you don't know how to do it or you can't explain it. What, what are you hoping you'll be able to do? I mean, are you hoping that we will wave our magic wands and get you a job if you can't get through it in an interview? So I'll I'll stop there and let you have about yeah, contribute. Maybe the context the context might help. So this same project in slightly less data is given usually as a job basically like the challenge at a blue deal. And then you have to pass that one or you have to demonstrate something to be accepted. And one of, you know, one of the person from previous batch had done something quick in basically, I think one or two days, um, just to demonstrate something valuable, how they see it. And just to give you a context, there were better candidates in many other ways um, that they have done really amazing. But the way that they have done was not complete or wasn't tested a hypothesis or you know, something that, that kind of, I think as what, what Arun is saying, something that is, that shows some form of, you know, like this new approach or new way of doing something. Okay, I have two days, you know, what can I do with that? And what is requested? So what I just wanna say is that, uh, you know, where we are coming from, you have to know is that ideally, the ideal emotional states and of course you're in you know, the physical state and and everything else is such that you just are there and you're excited uh, 
and so you, you just grab it and then there is so many ways like even in the planning all you need to do is basically okay there is reading component there is planning component there is architecture component and there is the same thing that in recognizing the, the size of the problem okay? the size of the problem dictates your basically approach now if you don't understand the size of the problem you also become slightly like positive without actually doing much and if the size of the problem is of course you overestimate it you then overwhelmed and you don't do it. but by just looking at like okay you know what can i do it's i think what arun is probably communicating is not to the person that is active and doing but it's the people who needs to really also everybody needs to be responsible to be able to deliver something because ultimately people would ask you and then you have to answer what you did not what other people did right so and in, in, and that's really what is needed i think let's imagine now in the paralyzation when we i just heard yours only so in the paralyzation i think there is a component there is one is really planning digesting and getting the simulated data so for example if i want if i think of like there are going to be features and there are papers that that are shared and in those papers there are basically what kind of features you are expect you are expecting to get right so now let's imagine you were planning okay here is an asset i'm gonna extract the features and i'm gonna do some kind of machine learning i would say like i will not wait until that i'll basically just get analyzed you know from from that paper um the type of expectation you know am i gonna get like from x to z you know i i could just basically say that because i know exactly the type of outcome i'm looking for um, or the kind of the results from that feature analysis and i can go on and read or design prepare the code and then from the knowledge side and from the architecture side from the pipeline side another team could really just work and then even from the extraction side you know there could be a few people who would look like the same thing but in different types of data like one could be looking at like this type of data where they have video and the other one would so you can always of course this is easy for me i mean that's the whole point but it's about then you are asking who, you know it's kind of like you're becoming so proactive to tell to kind of see who is who else is doing or you know kind of like not having been stuck through that as long as you are doing that and i think that is fine but if there is this sense of like okay you know like we have to just wait now that my the, the, the first thinking that came to my mind i'm gonna just run with it with then it, there is a danger right because the first thinking is just a start the real like the good idea is the one that comes after you know put it around rotate it around and then you come up with a, a better so the leader probably in this sense is supposed to really just nudge the whole team like okay we're not gonna do it's like a timekeeper in one way and another way is just kind of constantly evaluating the the kind of progress it's not a one-time discussion it's a constant if it's work it's not a one-time discussion it's a constant maneuvering but other people have to work and so a few people that are responsible to really measure the kind of progress and kind of like you know adjusting with without breaking um so i don't know if that i mean let me stop there and also right now we're in this work environment you have to you know does it make sense or are we unrealistic you know are we just coming from an angle that we probably were not inside there so we don't know the, the different issues are we missing something do you feel I think you have about, I think we have a group, it seems to me like we're we're separating or there's a spectrum between people who are here really hungry to learn and I think there's some people who are perhaps they're, it's tired it's the end of the training it's normal but the updates I heard were pretty non-specific um, and I think that's it's something that we have to address I think there'll be work that'll be delivered but I think behind the five group projects is probably not uh, not definitely not all 32 people but i think there's some people who are kind of it's it's a school like approach of okay as long as i get the grade that's fine and i think that's a short term view and that's troubling
I mean, what do people feel? I mean, it's like we say it our version of what we see from the angle we are in. And I'm sure you guys have been discussing. I'm, I came late, but is there any reflection on what we said? And in a, in a, I guess the, the problem is that probably the people who are really active are not going to say that's true, and the people who are inactive are also not going to say that's true. So. I don't, I don't know. So may, maybe what I can just say is let, let's, we're here for the same goal that you guys get a job. What I can tell you very honestly, and we're going through the supported job search phase right now is for those of you who are not able to explain how this project works, you are making it more difficult for uh, yourself and for us to help you get a job we can get you an interview but we can't get you through that interview you're gonna to have to do that yourself and so the work that we're trying to do is to say we're exposing you to something and i can almost guarantee you like you said if you can do this project and explain it well you're increasing your chances dramatically of being able to get through that interview um for those of you who are team leaders if you take your job seriously and this is why we have rotated you're increasing your chances dramatically of being successful in your first three months of work. So beyond that, um, of course, we don't have a perfect system and there are ways that you can sort of hide and get through and everyone who's here will get their certificate. But if you're here for a great job, which will continue to progress, then I think we have to make a turn in terms of uh, our mindset and our approach. Not for everyone, but um, yeah, I think we need to make a turn. And so I think that's Yavabel's question. Are we wrong? If we're wrong, then please tell us because then I'll sleep better tonight. Uh, can, can I can I add something? Um, I don't think um, I don't think uh, that you um, you you made mistakes, but uh, I think uh, the whole the whole thing uh, was going uh, towards being toward us being a student. So um, uh, I see that uh, your your point of view currently uh, is saying that uh, we are here for the grades. Uh, uh, I don't agree with that, but uh, how how we can uh, fix it? But you don't agree with that, but so you don't agree with that personally or the behavior doesn't reflect that? No, personally, uh, I don't agree that uh, I'm here for the grades. Uh, I, I believe that the grades are, are uh, just a way uh, to, to measure my uh, performance, but it's not the ultimate way. But uh, yes, by that, um, what I feel is, uh, I do not believe here. I came here for uh, for the reason of uh, grades because uh, I might get grades from university or online courses. I, I came here for one reason, uh, it's, which is uh, to be introduced to tools and to be introduced to methodologies and and some sort of uh, things that uh, will uh, guarantee me a, a job uh, in the market. So that was my intention, my first intention. Maybe my uh, attitude or my uh, performance through uh, the 11 weeks showed you or uh, present you that I'm here for the good. But internally, I, I don't think that I am like that. No, uh, and but I, that so, reason, Mohammed, I, I'm not saying it to you specifically, just to be yes, clear. Uh, yes, uh, I know that, I know that. But um, my question firstly was how we can, uh, especially for for ourselves how we can uh change that point of view change that mentality to be towards uh we are here not, not for the grade we are here to understand projects maybe i i address the question right yeah no i hear your question i i mean the answer i think you will have a better answer my answer is pretty straightforward it's to actually care about the learning and not to care 
about getting it done on time. It also means that you sometimes have to do unreasonable things like just jump in and uh, code with somebody else or ask somebody boring questions or ask lots of questions. Um, I don't know people's, I think it's clear to everyone here who's here to learn and who's here just to get through. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I think it's, it's somehow self-evident, but Yevago, what do you think? No, I mean, I, I, I think it's, you know, it's hard, right? It's not, it's very small amount of time and we are expecting a lot more to change. Um, but that's really what makes it, you know, afterwards when people get in a job, that's actually what really makes it different. You know, call it a brand, call it um, kind of a mindset. It's really what people like about it, wherever you are going, is usually that you don't settle for for no. I mean, another really way that I'm looking is that for every one thing you can't do, you have, you know, most of the academic graduates really, you know, do it and kind of when there is that they do sometimes four things for every one thing they can't do. And, and that mentality is really different. Like, you know, no, so many people probably know that theory that, okay, you know, there is a power uh, outrage, there is, you know, a problem that there is no data, but then somehow they know that that excuse is just excuse, you know, whatever, even if it's like beyond your own control, for everything that's beyond your own control, there are probably four things within your control you can do, right? And all that is, is that it's about, of course, it requires some kind of active maneuvering. It's like, it's like you become like, you sense what, what you cannot, you know, what you cannot just do. And then you do some things that at least within your control, you are able to do, right? And that proactivity and that, that mindset really takes you far. It's more than, more than any lesson, you know, more than any particular knowledge, more than a thing. And I think it's that visibility that, that we are talking about and we want to see from everyone, right? A number of you definitely, um, you do it. I mean, it's, it's impressive how every week you, I'm sure everyone is impressed how every week people are doing some amazing stuff, right? And everyone, even those who are not saying they, they are sometimes doing crazy good stuff, but it is also sometimes you have to show it, you have to, you know, kind of do that because that's, and then some of course probably are not are kind of going along it without actually taking that mentality for one or another reason. And I think that that is not helping. That will not help them. That's what we are saying. Because at work, it's whenever someone starts paying you, the very first thing they see is that how valuable you are to their business. And value is very different. One is like you do exactly your job and it's fine, but then they will throw you out whenever they are not in a good mood. And then some are like really do beyond the expectation and they're like, you know, whatever it is, even if the company is going down, I'm going to keep this person. It's rare to find. And if you can be that rare to find, and I think you have the chance to be rare to find because it, whatever you're doing in one week is really it's not so many people, even yourself, would not have imagined a few months, you know, a few weeks ago. So that's, I think it's, it's this mentality, you know, there's nothing more, there's nothing forcing here, um, but we, we would love to see it. We would love that hunger to come out. And I think, you know, we see it in most, in most people and we're just trying to ensure that let's see it everywhere, you know, with it, from everyone. Um, that's probably another way to put it. Maybe Nathanael, Nathanael Melissa, do you have a... Yeah, uh, I, I, I kind of want to, to, to add something, like uh, about uh, like the structure of the stand-up, how it was and uh, how it uh, was today too. So for like, uh, for all the stand-ups we had till till today like we all know like all of the trainees and also all of the, the academy team knows how like tough the challenge is like how even if it's not tough all of the all of the trainees are new to the, the concept especially the first three days are the hardest three days of the week 
like the next three like the next three or four days are somehow like you we gonna get on into deep work so the first three days are the mo- the hardest ones and uh, so like the way we were giving status and updates on each stand up till today was like we just share our progress like uh, i think uh, on the other side on the ten academy side like uh, we thought and believed like uh, you already believed in us and you already know like we are we will try our best uh, our absolute hardest to complete the challenge and also to understand what we have to understand to complete the challenge and like i think uh, you still understand that like we are trying our best and uh, i think uh, the impressions you got from today's stand up like i think it got from from the before uh, like the habits we had like on the, based on the previous stand ups like we just share our progress and we should, we should just share our plans like we will try to do this and like like knowing and believing like the ten academy team will believe like we will try our absolute best like i, I don't think no no trainee will joke around when it comes like to working so i, I think we got this far because of, because like we just don't joke around while in order to work for something in order in, in order to earn something actually so i think the context of the today stand up like got to hear was because of like we just thought uh, personally like that's what i thought like uh, if i say something like we are trying to do this and we are facing this challenge but i believe that you also believe in me like and i know i will come through it and i know everybody will come through all the challenge we have faced so far i know that you believe in that too but like when when you somehow like try to tell me like you might not believe uh, i'm trying my absolute hardest that become i think we just become somehow uh, yeah like we you don't you, you might not see our progress like in the right way or in the right eye i think yeah i just want to adapt that so i appre- i appreciate the feedback um and i think it's also important to to be able to share how you're feeling so i've if anyone feels like and i think it's i mean as i was running today's stand up then i want to take ownership of the sort of tone of the stand up um it's not that i don't believe in any one person but i take my job to be uh, to try and guide the type of response that people are giving and what i heard today and maybe it's true we ran it more as a friendly approach how are you doing you guys are great wonderful people um I when I land today uh and I run the stand up once a week if I land today and we're 3 days from the end of a project and an opportunity to showcase to a client what you're able to do I think it's good to be friendly but it must be possible to make the turn to professional right away especially when we have uh group members group leaders that are assigned we have a pretty clearly defined task and I think it's an exciting task as well so if there's any feeling that i don't believe in any of you then i'd like to um belay that expectation but what I, i that's not true i believe in the people that we've selected because i believe in the process and the work that you've done but i also see um in parallel to the training we're doing right now we've started a new intensive careers job search and i'm sure you know through your friends or some of you know what we're doing and what we're seeing is that in the same group among the same people one person is in two days has applied for 60 jobs and one person has applied for two jobs now i believe in that person to the same extent but i need to understand why that one person has applied for two jobs and the other has applied for 60 because it's dishonest for me to tell that person that they have the same chance of success because the guy who applied for two jobs is a much lower chance of success not only because of the two jobs but because of the mindset and it's a the mindset of if the person who applies for two jobs thinks you know i'm doing my best um and i'm still working hard then there's there may be a problem in that person's approach and so what i'm hearing today is some people came i think unprepared and i think some people came thinking that effort is enough but when when you get into the world of work just as yevabel said effort is fine but i actually really like this uh this 
ratio of for every one thing you can't do, you have to find things that you are able to do. So I, I just want to underline the fact that it's not about not belief. We've, we believe in each of you, and this is why we've put this program together, and this is why we'll continue to run it. But it's not our job to be your friends. It's our job to be, I would say, rather your coaches. And a good coach, I think, says you're doing great, um, but this is these are areas that you can improve, but also to compare your results to the expectations. And what I heard today was below a professional expectation, by and large. And so that's why this update was provided. I thought that some of the updates, especially the quantified ones, were great. It gave me this confidence that we were on track with answers to why we're on track. So let's take one more comment, and then at least I have to run. I don't know if, uh, I think, Yevdil, you have to run too. Um, so Michael? Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, hi. Yeah, I just wanted uh, to comment on today's stand-up and uh, I've been listening from the beginning and the approach you have been using this two la this last two weeks, I think you have started to ask for details from, I think, like week nine or something like that. So it's been great and uh, I'm just, I just want to comment that we have a technical exercise for, on this uh, intensive training, we have a technical exercise and uh, both non also a non-technical one, but I think we are also missing some uh, mentality training part and these standups should be like using to sharpen our mentalities and uh, to, uh, yeah, yeah, as a coach, you also need to uh, sharpen and carve out uh, what a real world uh, job environment mentality uh, or what a real world job uh, mentality is required from us and uh, I think the uh, type of stand-ups we were having before week nine like Nathaniel have stated we're not like uh, such uh, uh, such time, there were not such types of questions like today's, and uh, the, but I believe this should be the trend, and we should have been asked such types of questions. So, in the try of uh, answering or in the try of uh, preparing for that questions, we uh, might get some mentality progress. I believe, and that was my comment. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, thank, thank you everyone. So I need to run. So let's just wrap up the announcements again. Emilienne is asking everyone to send a photo. Uh, so please, there's a number of Slack messages on that. And Nardos mentioned that the uh, machines are gonna be shut down for cost reasons from 22 or 10 p.m. UTC to 5 a.m. Uh, 0500 UTC. So great. Look, it sounds like teams are making progress. And thanks, Michael, for wrapping up. I think you captured uh, well what we were trying to achieve. Let's keep in mind, we're not here to, we're not a, uh, we're not school. We're really training you for the world of work and we want you to be successful and we have no doubt that you will be, but uh, you want to be that person who's applying for 60 jobs in two days um, because that person is no different than the person who applied for 15 but it has just adopted the right mindset and the right mentality and was in the right rhythm. Many of you are doing really well. Um, there's a number, there's some of you who have to stop uh, stop hiding and just bite into this world of hard work. And if you need to sort of sleep hard on Sunday to get the energy to do that, then you should do that. So have let's stop recording. Sorry, yeah, everyone, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I'm just saying, I think, you know, Sometimes it's that thing, you know, when it, even if you are winning uh, a game and then you're kind of being told that's not enough. And I think Nathanael, you should also look at it from that angle. It's much more like you definitely, you guys overall, and some of you probably even flying high, but even if everyone is winning the game, you know, we are all as, as a team, we are kind of winning the game. We still might be saying like, okay, the way that we win the game is not enough to win the next, the big match that, you know, we're all looking for, right? So 
sometimes winning itself is might not be so even if you you're told that a hard way sometimes don't take it personal it's much more of like arun is coming from exactly what he's telling you that that element of like okay we need to place everybody at top and that's why we really started fully focused now placing everyone you know whoever made it to to this far they will we want to make sure that everybody gets a job and everybody deserves this hard work deserves all like you know that the kind of job and the kind of stability and also ecosystem that they they could grow right so in a way winning itself sometimes is not enough sometimes you have to be harder and understanding only that way it is nothing personal it is much more of like okay you know let's wrap up like some things you know and and usually even if one person is amazing doing great but two other people are not doing well it's still that person will be will be told exactly the same way because that's not enough as a team as a whole we have to actually um be great because like one good player will not help us um we need everybody to help us right because it's a brand sometimes you know you can understand it in that brand sense so i think overall you know i i tell you like on every monday i am just impressed like it's it's crazy we definitely we, we have figured out we are learning we have also a team that is trying to figure out how everyone can participate and feel the rhythm um, and we'll, we'll we'll get there and I, I think you know it's very very simple to say like we completely i have a complete trust that everyone puts the effort that that is more than even more effort than they we expect sometimes but that's that's it that's you know that's the like that's the style that style we have and yeah so in a way just i, I want to say like you know good work but sometimes we might expect more still even after that and don't take it personal um it's just it's just the you know the way of life sometimes as i said even if once even after winning we still require probably more so winning itself might not be sufficient so hopefully that's clear and you know it's it's nothing got to do with any particular thing it's just a, a general trend from observations here and there okay i think let me stop as well uh, thank you so much everyone.